22nd congressional race was hotly contested with the final outcome not known until two months after Election Day. Now that some time has passed, we sat down with the former Congressman Anthony Brindisi to hear his thoughts about his time in office, the election, and what's to come for him in the future. In this three-part series, our Eyewitness News reporter Shalon Stevens will uncover it all. Take a look. Anthony Brindisi first ran for Congress in 2018, and he beat incumbent Claudia Tenney. He says his choice to run stemmed from wanting to be in a career where he could help people. Whether it was my service in the state legislature or being in Congress, uh, I, I believe in public service. Uh, I believe that we need good people going into government so we can have uh, a functioning government. And the most important part of the job is being able to help people. So whether it's an issue like helping someone with their Social Security or Medicare issue or whether it's getting legislation drafted and signed into law, uh, the goal of any public servant is to be able to help and serve the people that put you in office and uh, that's why I was attracted to the position in the first place. Was it hard when you were running for Congress? What was that process like? Well, it's always hard running for Congress uh, or any, uh, any position for that matter and I have a lot of respect for people who will put their name on the line, whether it's running for your local school board or running for the House of Representatives. Uh, it takes a lot out of you, it takes a lot out of your family and I think with 24-7 uh, news coverage and social media, it makes the job even more difficult because you're under constant scrutiny. But it's a rewarding career, uh, especially when you can accomplish something that helps people. Uh, and I think uh, more people should go into it. In his two years, he says he is most proud of the 12 pieces of legislation that he authored that were passed into law. On a whole range of issues, ranging from uh, improving mental health care for veterans and active duty personnel, to lowering health insurance costs for seniors or bringing jobs back to manufacturing here in upstate New York. You know, when I was in Congress, you had divided government. You had Democrats in the House, Republicans in the Senate, and a Republican president. So getting 12 pieces of legislation pushed and signed into law, not an easy thing to do, but I'm very proud of that accomplishment. Was there anything that you felt that you didn't finish, any unfinished business? The one uh, bill that I had wished that I could get passed before leaving Congress was Bianca's Law, which really stems from uh, an incident that happened here, a uh, young girl who was murdered. 17-year-old Bianca Devins was murdered back in the summer of 2019 by Brandon Clark. Clark took pictures of her death and posted them on social media. And the family had to suffer through seeing that uh, online. No family should have to suffer through that. Uh, and this was a bill that I worked with the family to introduce to put more uh, regulations in place over graphic content uh, on the internet, uh, specifically with social media companies. I wish we could have got that done. Hopefully that will continue. Tomorrow, Brindisi talks all about the election and the shortcomings from the Oneida County Board of Elections. Reporting, Shalon Stevens, Eyewitness News. So be sure to tune in tomorrow for that. Be sure to get our CNY homepage app so, as well so you can stay up to date with all the latest local news. And uh, for a preview of your weather forecast, here's our chief meteorologist calling whoever